Georgia Tech to kick off three and seven a season ago, trying to make that giant leap forward to be really, really competitive. And this will start at the 25 yard line for the Huskies. They only played six games, they lost them all. Looking to throw and fires over the middle. A good ball, but it is going to be incomplete off the hand of Trayvon Rudolph. It's a perfect time for a back shoulder throw, and Lombardi delivered. And Ferentz gets off the punt. Trying to make a play on it. And stopped around the 40-yard line. Particularly the right side that goes 6-6-6-6-6-6. And on the carry. A big gainer out of the backfield. They're going to be a first down. Sims on second and short. Stepping up, and they're going to get to him and take him down. And it was Devontae O'Malley, the first man to say hello. They're going to lose five. Yeah, and he's trying. It's an RPO. He's going to fake in here, and he's trying to get this, uh, you know, kind of glance in behind. Did you see here comes all, he pulls the ball out. And he just doesn't like his window, and so he gets stuck holding the football, and then Third and seven, low snap as he rolls and fires and completes to Carter. Malachi Carter is the most explosive wide receiver. Got Carter set up on the left side. Sims with pressure, gets it off and short, incomplete. Trying to dump it off to McGowan, but couldn't get it to him. Third down, 15 for the Huskies. Dropping back Lombardi, and he looks to fire, and it's complete. But well shy of the first down, Joiner the tight end with the catch, but it picks up just one yard. So Matt Ferentz back to punt again for the second time here in the first quarter. Hangs this one very high. Ray coming up on it. Fair catch. It goes 37 yards. That punt. Yellow Jackets back on the attack. Early on, the focus has been on Jameer Gibbs. Quarterback's going to keep it. And racing to the near side before he has shoved out a first down gain here for 15 yards. And it's just a rage. He reads the backside and decides to keep the football. And this is what makes Jeff Sim. He said he spent that developing a winning, tight-knit culture. He believes that has become a reality with this group. It's Gibbs again, getting away from one man down the sideline. And he stepped out of bounds. But he picks up another first down. And you can see why they think Gibbs is their best player. Look at him in the open field. That is just really, really good on a, a short yardage run to, you know, thinking you're going to where the ball was coming from. They had hoped to get rid of that. That was a bit of a pattern a season ago. Gibbs right behind his blocker and got pushed back. Trying to get to the 25-yard line, but denied a five-yard pickup. Brent Samaglia on for a 43-yard attempt. In the air, on the way, and that one is no good. Well, the Huskies have a quarterback who has lined up in big-time situations before in Lombardi. He is back to hand off, and it's Whaley's been a workforce early on, and he will pick up the first down. He's kind of the one that supports him. They've been a really good tandem so far this offseason. Ratkovich so far hasn't gotten a taste of any of the offense. It's Whaley again. Took a hit and he got to that marker. He picks up another first down. Ratkovich alongside Lombardi, the quarterback. He wants to throw. Throwing short right over the middle and complete. And that one is caught by Tucker. Lombardi's pass complete. Last year they were the second youngest program in the FBS. Whaley gets the handoff. He finds an opening. Darting to the right. Heading for the end zone. He's in for the touchdown. A 35-yard scamper by Harrison Whaley. That drive was his. And he's into the end zone. And a Husky strike first tonight here in Atlanta. Eight plays, 74 yards on the drive, Tim. Yeah, and J.J. Lippy here, he's going to pull and kick out. And you're also going to get the fullback kicking out. And it's just an awesome job of getting movement up front. Hat on a hat block. And basically, Whaley just able to use his speed at that point. We mentioned it earlier. And Nwanye Thomas not able to get there in time. That was really well blocked. And if you saw how it happened, you know, to come out of the timeout, Northern Illinois huddled up. The offensive line sprint to the line of scrimmage. And then they snapped the ball quickly. Another running back with Sims is Jordan Mason. Very powerful back. Quarterback will keep. Big gain across the 50. Loose across the 40. And deep into Husky territory. And Sims very dangerous with the legs. 28 yards with that pickup. Quarterback bash. Quarterback power. Basically, 
fake to the running back. He got linemen pulling through because he's clearly off. Third and 11. Sims with time. Airs it out, but he underthrew the football. It was McGowan again that he wanted, but he was short on a toss. In America, he missed from 43 earlier, and this one's going to be way short. Whaley and Lombardi have been the story for Northern Illinois. They're down five. He's going to air it out to the side. And a tremendous catch. Outstanding play by Tyrese Ritchie to haul that in after the leap. A 25-yard gain. Of reacting to the football. And Lombardi does a great job of giving him a chance. This offense is moving. Second and one. Whaley with the carry. And he'll pick up the first down. Huskies are moving the sticks. He's tough on block, but he's also good in space. Boy, they're waiting for nothing. And the carry by Rakovich again. And he's stopped by Trey Swelling. They're going to go fast here on third and one. And pushing ahead down close to the goal line. And really moving the football on a long drive and eating up chunks on the ground. Lombardi back to throw short and into the end zone and a touchdown. It's Joyner, his tight end, Miles Joyner. Into the end zone, they score again. You get your tight end running into the flat, and you see the traffic, and A.C. Ely just can't run through it. And it's just a, the first man. Collins has been preaching for his team. That's where it really gets tested. On a handoff, Mason again, the strong runner, and he's going to pick up a first down. Got to move on to the next play. That pass complete to Carter. Carter taking it back inside. Malachi Carter is a big play guy, and he rips that one off for 13 yards. And just misplays it, and Carter's able to come up with the ball. Low snap, now it's dropped, fumble, and looked like the Huskies came up with it. They did. Recovered by Northern Illinois. Rodgers picked it up, leaving for it. Yeah, it's just a bad job of communicating the mesh, you know, the ball handling between Mason and Sims. And as the ball's on the ground, you see Sims trying to recover the football, extend that left arm, and, you know, as that left arm's extended, it's hit awkwardly on it, and it was clearly in plenty of discomfort coming off the field, and it's kind of a dangerous, vulnerable position. Coming up on eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. He's going to keep flag down as he races ahead. Pretty good runner and a bruising runner indeed as he is tangled up. With Harrison Whaley in his backfield. He's going to get another carry. Breaks free. He broke a couple of tackles as he dives ahead for a five-yard gain. Charlie Thomas eventually stopping him, the middle linebacker. Yates the backup with Sims injured. And on the run is going to be Mason trying to get some extra room. And he pulls ahead. He's going to pick up a first down. Jordan Mason with a tough run. And that was his rep coming in. Second down, five. Quarterback will keep it in fire. And complete short out in the open space. Carter tried to get away and make some more yards. But he does pick up another first down. Second and seven. He'll step up. They're going to find him, though. And down he goes. Tried to elude the first tackler, but no place to run. So Yates with an opportunity to return after they call the timeout. He's back out there looking to throw. He'll step up and run it now. Getting across the 40, and he's upended. But a tough run to gain the first down. Thought he might try to get it to Gibbs, but instead he takes off. and then. Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind the hit. Gibbs with a carry, trying to get to that sideline, but tripped up by Eric Rogers, who's made a lot of good tackles, but that's a first down gain. Clock running under two minutes before the break. Yates firing to his right, and a completed pass to Sanders. Sanders didn't get much after the catch, but will pick up a first down. Yates to fire, throwing for the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech, McGowan. From 22 yards, and the Yellow Jackets finally on the scoreboard. McGowan working in the slot, just is able to get across the defender's face, and then that ball is perfectly thrown right to the chin. Third down, 10. Stepping up. Got some room, and hurdles. 
He got hit. Boy, that's the second play he's made, and that's a first down. You know, that, that's getting your team going. Third down, six. Wants to put it in the air, and should have been caught for the All-American and Ray Guy award-winning punter Presley Harvin III is drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers and a fair catch right at the 30-yard line by Cole Tucker 39-yard punt third and five for Lombardi back to throw short Rakovich with the catch and takes a hit he was stuck pretty good by Charlie Thomas Ray at the 25 ready for the punt Ference gets that one high and drives him back. And he's going to drop the football. And it's going to be recovered. So doing it again. 11.56 to go in the quarter. Ference had really launched one previously. Fair catch here by Ray. In the first half to the end zone finally. McGowan in motion. And a handoff, and right back up the middle, it's Gibbs. And he is so tough between the tackles, he'll pick up 12 yards. And now they're going to try and move as quickly as they can. With McGowan again in motion, Gibbs again through the middle of the line. They can't bring him down. Across the 40, he's taking people with him. And a big, big gain of 18. Gibbs. That similar backfield action, but this time they're going to start pulling linemen to get out in front of him. So they're going to fake the fly sweep. And now all of a sudden you're pulling guys in front of you and doing a good job. Leonard leading the way. And then a good finish. And I think because of the big different styles of these running backs, it makes him even harder to defend. Mason taking to the outside. Down the sideline. He is shoved down inside the five-yard line. Guards for this rush. Well, we're talking about, you know, power running through contact. Lance DeVoe can't get it. Mason alone setback. Takes the handoff, and they found it very quickly, didn't they? And the tackle made by Jordan Hansen. Third down and goal at the three-yard line. Gates will put it in the air short and stopped at the three-yard line of the two-and-a-half. 7.54 to go in the third. Yates rolling right, trying to find the end zone, and caught it. Wait until these guys get a... You know, a thigh to the face mask trying to tackle our backs. Second down nine from the end zone. He's going to throw it out. A leaping catch. And that is going to be completed on the sideline. And that was Messiah Travis with the grab. Off, take a look. Well, it's an incredible catch. Go up and fight for the football. Oh, and you don't get it clean right away. But the guys up front are getting all kinds of movement. And off for Rakovich. Trying to get outside. He is strung out. Quez Jackson. Quarterback and the primary back. Both from the great state of Iowa. Tried a bit of a delay it looked like. But Georgia Tech saw that coming. Wesley Walker. He was the first man to react. Parents to punt. Ray standing back at his 10 yard line. And over and punt. And he's going to try and take it. And he is going to make a mistake. They're going to push him back. And shove him out of bounds around the five. The second quarter, Jordan Yates, he takes the snap. He'll fire it. And a short pass and a flat complete. Malachi Carter caught it for a first down. Yeah, I think that Georgia Tech can do some of this. And keeping it on the ground. And Mason trying to get inside and pushed outside. And Gibbs back in there is one of the running backs. He's back to throw. Looking deep this time. A flag down. It's incomplete. Flag at the 50. Yates trying to write a big come from behind story in the home opener. Gibbs trying to carry again. Gets to the 50. As quickly as they're going. Gibbs again. He dives ahead. He'll pick it up. On a first down. Mason's in there again. Gates this time. Pressure on him as he was going down. He flung the football That's and he lost his helmet again. That's happened to him a couple of times. Ratkovich again back there with him. And some tough yards on the left side of that line. 
And the stop by Zamari Walton, the cornerback. Matt Ferentz to punt again. Gets this one high. Ray a fair catch. And he backs up to the 22-yard line. That's a 50-yard punt. So far, especially with that Clemson score. Yates winding up to throw. Throwing deep, looking for a receiver. That's going to be caught by Carter. And a giant gainer, exactly what the Yellow Jackets needed as they air it out. Down at the bottom of your screen, you know, Carter's a guy that they feel like has great speed, can run by people, and that's exactly what he does. Yates, the backup quarterback, will hand off. Gibbs trying to down outside, has a little bit of room, but that swallows up quickly, and they down him at the 15. Not yet tonight. Yates will toss it to him. Smith on the outside. He threw for the touchdown. Just into the game, his first touch. Touchdown. And a great response by the Georgia Tech offense. Finishing it off on the fourth down. The conversion to Donovan Smith for the score. Name here at Georgia Tech for many, many years. His brother Bruce, a running back on the ball club. He'll stay on the ground and try and keep him up. And the fumble, the ball is loose. It is loose. And the Yellow Jackets say they have it. They get the football back. Whaley with the fumble. Walker with the strip. And see, look at that strength. You see Wesley Walker. Pulls out at once. Pulls out it twice. He doesn't get it. Just keeps working at that football and eventually. Mason, a running back. The handoff to the center he goes. Ducks around one man. Gets all the way down to close to the 10-yard line. A 15-yard run. Boy, Mason looks like a man hungry for the football. Another give. No, the quarterback keeps it. He dives in for the touchdown. Jordan Yates with the score to put the Yellow Jackets in the lead for the first time. Wesley Walker gets it started. Rips the football out. Gives Georgia Tech offense a chance. And then it's Jordan Yates with an extra job punching it in. Jordan Yates comes in and saves the day. Well, it looks like the job was his all along. Pressure on him, and they're going to take him down deep in the back to a Whaley. No place to go as he got buried. Second half. Listen, it, it's basically number 13 on both sides of the ball because here's Wesley Walker. Had to fumble, you know, caused the fumble earlier and does a great job of staying home on the reverse. And With a night he will remember. Third down, 17. Lombardi has to roll out of there. Looking downfield and throws short. So Jordan Tech's going to get the football back with just over four minutes left. Parents with the punt. Ray gets stuck and has nowhere to hide. Kevin Harris met him first. 42-yard punt. Carter on the move. Malachi Carter caught a huge 53-yarder. They'll dump it to him. Trying for the sideline. Pushed out of bounds. Of course, you want to stay in. Run that clock. Northern Illinois back with the football. Lombardi stepping up. He throws. He's got a wide receiver. That'll be caught by Richie. Richie trying to get ahead to the 40-yard line. Giant gain for 38 yards. Looking to throw short over the middle. That one caught by Joyner. Joyner up ahead to the 25. That goes for 16 yards and a first down. First and 10. Just over two minutes left here in Atlanta. Now it's the Huskies trying to rally. It's Whaley breaking through the center of the line. And he gets down to the 15. And they're wasting no time again. Whaley once again darting in. Getting all the big carries. He's had a big, big night. Second and eight. Lombardi looking, running now. Looking, running. Out of bounds. Got down around the 10. Quarterback draw might walk in the end zone. Lombardi going to throw it. 
completed pass inside the five-yard line. They stack up the receiver, Richie. 41 seconds. He's going to throw it for the end zone. In for a touchdown. Radkovich. He makes the catch. Georgia Tech by one. Northern Illinois playing for the win. Lombardi rolling again. Throws. In the end zone. He caught it. He caught it. Richie again. And Northern Illinois has taken a lead 22 to 21. You know, the ball moves as he's coming up. It's in his hands. Is that left hand underneath the ball? Man. Is that a completion or is that incomplete? And a roll to kick. Georgia Tech with an opportunity. It's Gibbs taking it. Trying to get outside. They're going to push him back. So 31 seconds to play. That's all the time the Yellow Jackets have in their home opener. Lombardi to Ritchie for the two-point conversion. A chance here for Yates. As he fires, it's nearly intercepted, intended for McGowan. There is a flag down in the backfield. A couple of them. Got to show off some arm strength there. Stepping up. He's throwing down the sideline, and it's going to be incomplete. They're going to regret at least one of those. Maybe. Let's see. Yates back to throw. Looking downfield. Flings it. It's going to be caught by Gibbs. And Gibbs trying to get to that marker. Now you got to use it. Third down one. Ten seconds to play. Yates steps up. Getting chased. Gets it away and got the pass complete. He got it to McGowan. And Stewart has it blocked. It's blocked and that is the game. And what a finish here tonight in Atlanta.